If Cushman buys these concepts for his carpets, we have a good chance of landing all the other Monticello products. The fabrics, the plastics, the wall paneling, everything. Larry, do you know when you talk about money, your eyes light up? Of course. I'm a greedy person. <laughs> Mr. Tate. Yes, Betty? Excuse me for interrupting, but there's a man out in the reception room, and I can't seem to get rid of him. He's pretty weird. Oh? Well, relax, Betty. Well, very well. And you? What is the idea of bringing this bike into the office? The idea is, I looked around out front. I'm not sure this is a safe neighborhood. Well, this office is not a garage, so we... Which one of you is McMahon? Neither. I'm Mr. Tate. What is it you want? I want to see Mr. McMahon. His name comes first. He's got to be the honcho here. I happen to be the brightest copywriter to ever set foot on Madison Avenue. Well, Mr. McMahon is chairman of the board. Mr. Tate is the president. And as president, I'd advise you to hop back on your sickle and buzz off. Tail of newt and eye of bat. This is where the spell is at. <laughs> Even though it's what he'd hate. Now all I say appeals to Tate. Well, I'm gonna buzz off now, but uh, I thought a man in your position was interested in ideas. We're perfectly capable of coming up with our own ideas. I was talking to Mr. Tate. And I liked what you were saying. You know, if you have some ideas, of course I want to hear them. But how did you happen to pick McMahon and Tate? Because I've seen your ads, Daddy. <laughs> you need me. <laughs> <laughs> that is pretty insulting. Darren, let's not be rude to our guest. <laughs> Why don't we step into our office, Mr... My name's Alonzo. <laughs> Alonzo. <laughs> now, don't you let anybody steal my chopper. Woo! <laughs> right on. <laughs> Come in, sit down. Put it right there. Alonzo, now, I would like to point out to you that McMahon and Tate is a very successful advertising agency, and we don't need people wandering in off the street passing out advice. Who is he? <laughs> He's uh, one of our top account executives, Darren Stevens. Oh, man, what a bad scene. What this agency needs is to radically modify its advertising concepts. What you need is words with inner meaning, words that sing and are in tune with universal vibrations. Universal vibrations? <laughs> words that sing. Now that grabs me. Mr. Tate, I'm a philosopher and a poet. Words are my bag. I can tune your advertising copy to the rhythm that beats to everybody like a... Cosmic drum. <clears throat> can you dig it? I can, I can. No, I can't. I mean this in the nicest way possible, but my approach is only for people with special sensitivities, you know what I mean? One of your shortcomings, Darren. <laughs> oh, fine. You two can enjoy your sensitivity class. I've got better things to do. Alonzo, are you familiar with Monticello carpets? Now, wait a minute, Larry. We're all set with our ideas for Monticello. It can't hurt to hear what this young man has to offer. As you pointed out, Darren, he just came in off the street, and that's exactly who we're trying to reach, the man in the street. Mr. Tate, I think you dig my philosophy. I do, I do. Well, let's see what I can come up with for Monticello. <laughs> uh, Larry. Don't tell me you're going to fall for this rubbish. Darren, it's not my fault if you don't dig the universal vibrations. Oh. Beautiful. <laughs>